And here we go. Hopefully the final episode of Dynasty Tactics Season 2. What happened? Did he? Yep, he did. Oh no, he didn't. It's only one ar It's only one army. Nice. So we're going to have an easy time with this fight. Well, hopefully an easy time. It's just Sauren. So hopefully if we can get through this defense here. If we can get through this. Then we can make it through to Chengdu. We need to take out Sao Ren and Zhang He. Those are the only two we need to worry about, really. I'm pretty sure Zhang Lu has Taunt. No, he has Pit. Right, okay. So if we can just get through this and get through Chengdu, then we've won the game. At least this time. We've, we've still got a couple of things to do in the game, but we're not doing them this season. Nobody. That'll be Season 3 and Season 4. Guan Yu still hasn't quite recovered from the last fight we, we had with this army. But he's getting there. First off, we need to get off this mountain into the plains where we can do our actual fighting. Let's move everybody off this frickin' mountain. Now the reason we need to take out Zhang He first is because he's a commander. So if we just defeat Sao Ren, then Zhang He will just take control of the army and it'll still be there. And that'll be a pain. Looks like Zhang Lu is charging ahead, that's good, we can isolate him. What's the, what's the saying? Isolate, eliminate. That's what we do, that's how you win the game. Probably... yeah. Just this, this terrain is just being annoying. I'm trying to get everybody across to where I want them to be. You will never ever do anything if I put you that way. You're going this way. A whole day of just moving about, that's so annoying. We do have the momentum, we do have the advantage. Just about getting there. Let's move up. Oh, can I taunt someone? No, not yet. As soon as Zhang Lu, no, as soon as Zhang He is done, we're going straight for Sao Ren, but we do need to take out these people first as best we can. Don't want to build a depot here because that's the one way off the hill. We'll build a depot further upfield. Uh, we'll probably try and build a depot like somewhere around here-ish. Kinda close to theirs. Right, we're about to start clashing with them in the central plains. This is what we want. Who is this? This is just an infantry unit, right? And then Zhang Yao's over there and Zhang Lu's over here. Right, okay. This is all fine. Right, Zhao Yun, you start attacking. I'm gonna just start hitting them. And hopefully we can get some early victories. Zhang Fei goes first rather than Guan Yu because Guan Yu is still quite hurt. I think I'm gonna try and place the depot about here-ish. Enemy's not been able to really do much, that's going to change right here. I 
I am not wasting a ton on a on a infantry unit. That's just not happening. Don't waste tactics on infantry units. Is the general rule of thumb. We'll confuse Zhang Lu. Give ourselves an early advantage in our clashes with him. Yeah, let's raid through Zhang Lu and then fire arrow everybody. That will confuse them all. Nice. That's just an infantry unit there, it's nothing too special. Right, and then if I... There's Zhang He up there, he's just not coming down. He's staying on the mountain. Because he knows, he knows. So if I raid and then you repel and then you repel. Can you volley? Yeah, you can, yeah, that works for me. Do some really big damage to Zhang Yao and Zhang Lu early on. Zhang Yao is out of the picture. Nice. Zhang Lu is really hot. This is the perfect place to build a depot. Right, we've cornered the enemy onto the mountain. Uh, we've taken out uh, Zhang Yao, one of their officers. Zhang Lu is confused and hurt. So I need to get them off the mountain. Ideally, somehow. could raid through but if I raid through it sounds good in theory but it's really not because it puts Guan Yu isolated um, next to Sao Ren and Zhang He. Two bad things. Let's quickly just get rid of this this unit here. Let's get rid of this guy. And then that's one less infantry unit to worry about. I know I said earlier on don't waste tactics, but we have we outnumber the enemy so bad that I think we can spare a few in this case. Because we wanna just we we wanna get our forces over there to the foot of the mountain, ready to intercept Zhang He as soon as he comes down. Half of my army isn't even in the fight yet. Right, 
Okay, five days have gone by already. In ten minutes. Confuse. Let's keep on confusing Zhang Lu. Basically, take his unit out of the fight for the whole fight. Let's do this. Because I want to just wipe Zhang Liu out. In the back. Turn her up. Oh, here we go. Time to get Zhang He down here. Not only is he down here, but he's quite hard. Oh, he's going to retreat back up the mountain. Of course he is. Have you learned your? L I mean, enjoy it while you've got it, Zhang He. Nearly five thousand. That is a big hit. Come on, game. That is just that is just bollocks. Right, if I aid and then you charge. We need to get people up there. So Jai Ling, you take the hit and you charge up there. Nah, not worth it. Not worth it right now. Come off that mount at hill and let them just chill for a bit. Nah, that's an aid. Try and get rid of Zhang Lu if we can, would be great. Damn it. You who seek death. Didn't want to do that. Last thing you see. Right, Zhang Lu's out of the picture now, it's just Zhang He and Sao Ren, that's all we need to focus on. It's been quite a quick- Ah, perfect, let's get him down here. Let's br you're not retreating up that mountain again, Zhang He, you're- we're gonna cut you off from that. Right, he can't retreat now, he's deep in our lines. Which means it's just Saori is quite exposed now. They tried to play the defensive game and the defensive game worked against them. He's gonna have to come down off the mountain really. Hit them with an all attack here. And a circle will confuse them. 
So that means he's not going anywhere. And now my guys can just kind of wail on him a little bit. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's just try and mop this all up. This infantry unit is blocking. Oh wow! This is a rare treat. Do any here desire the head of Zhao Yun? That's a rare treat. Occasionally, what will happen is. If you attack an infantry or archer or something like that, and you have a high enough, you know, in a good enough position, sometimes you'll insta kill them. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a nice rare treat. I think sometimes it can actually happen to um, actual officers as well, if they're low skilled enough. I think. I'm not sure what the criteria is for triggering it. But this is just gonna wipe out Zhang He. Now it's just Sao Ren up there in his own some. Everybody get up there. Uh, Hang on, you come from this side. Bow attack. Jailing, you're kind of hot, but not too hot. Gongji, I don't want you to be the one that goes up there. You're a special unit, you'll take too much damage. What's he gonna do? He gonna come for Pang Tong? Let he who desires death face me! A little bit annoying, but nothing too bad. Let's get Zhao Yun up on the mountain to the hill. He's essentially playing a waiting game right now. He's trying to hold off for as long as he can. I'm not gonna let him. We're gonna pull him out. As Zhu Liang is on the hill. We've got him cornered now, really. We need to get more people up there though, like actual heavy hitters, rather than all these kind of weaker units. Like, we need some heavy hitters up there. Kind of annoying how he's situated. It's really annoying, actually. Just want to get my guy, my guys in there. The terrain is just playing completely to his advantage. Let's move Zhigli out of the way. Let's start destroying this depot, which I should have done earlier. Let's go. Pit him and then raid through Zhang Fei. Pathetic fools! I'll take on all of you! We've managed to drag him kicking and screaming off of that mountain.
How did you do that much damage? How? How does that work, game? Right, I've got it. This is what you get, Sauron, for being a little bitch. Ah, it's as good as over. I will aid you. Nearly, Chengui gets the final blow. Victory! Yet again. Okay, this should, hopefully, if nothing bad happens, we should be able to move on straight to the final fight. Let's just move on. Straight to Chengdu. And let's hope that this works and we manage to actually get there. And if we do, then it's the final fight for season two. All we need to do is occupy Chengdu. We did it, we got through, and we're there. Final fight time. Liu Bei and Cao Cao at Chengdu. Which is the first time, I think, in the entire season that we've actually fought Cao Cao at Chengdu. It's Cao Cao and Gojia, but all we need to do for this fight is take down Cao Cao, and that's all we'll be doing. You are my goal, Salsa. I don't really care about any of these guys. Let's just move forward, get right up close to that gate. Maybe get a depot sorted. Yan Yan could pit. Go on. Who has pit? Oh, I'm just out of curiosity. So we've got Fa Zheng, Yan Yan, and Cheng Yu. But Fa Zheng and Yan Yan are probably the ones that are going to be using Pit. So let's move Guan Yu to the right a little bit, get him out of the range. Cross the river to Chengdu. I could pit Yan Yan down. I, we should probably do that. Let's get Yan Yan down here. And then we, we, that makes sure he definitely can't pit one of our uh, units all the way over there. And is that Fa Zheng? It is, so let's get, let's get Fa Zheng down there too. Let's just bring both of them down, that way we know we're not going to lose a unit all the way up there. Right, let's do this. Yeah, and then I'll do an all attack, a surround, and then a raid. Right, this will work. Just wipe out Yan Yan off the map straight away. You shall have the honor of being defeated by Quan Chi. Yan Yan's done for. Okay, that's one enemy unit down. Even though we don't really need to do it. They have pets, so I don't really want to risk. See, he's using it. But he's not using... It's a bit late to be using pet, to be honest. You're already down on my side of the field, so... You're already kind of screwed. It might be interesting to I've had this copy of Dynasty Tactics that I'm playing right now. I've had this since I was a child. So I want to say a good 
10 to 15 years or so. I've had this copy for 10 to 15 years and it still works perfectly. Love this game to bits. Even though it's frustrating as hell at points, I do love this game. That's why I've put like 200 hours into this game. And like nearly 200 videos in total between season 2 and season 1. Right. We just want to camp out near this and just get our spies there and then charge in and take down Sal Sal and then we've done. We are done. Fajeng is going to prove to be a nuisance if we don't take him down. Let's build ourselves a depot right here. Actually, well, do we want to do that? No, we want to build a depot closer up, I think. One here is wasted. What did I say? He's gonna be a little bit annoying. I just wanted to move the front line up towards the castle, closer there. Because that's where I want to set up shop, because we're gonna start destroying castle gates right now. Remember, spies can take down gates and walls in one hit, and they're the only unit that can take down walls, specifically. Yeah, we want to do this. Gives us a turn of essentially moving our units up closer to the castle without worrying about Jayaju doing anything dumb. Speaking of Jayaju, we should really just take care of him, shouldn't we? Also, speaking of you guys, hit him with a volley, please. 436, are you kidding me, gang then? Damn it, I don't have... I don't have surround anymore, I must have used it up, damn. Now let's get Jai Lang in position. They are swarming into the castle, so they're trying to defend Sal Sal. They're trying, but they're not going to do much good doing it, really. Destroy the gate. Gongji, you need to start destroying some walls. Cheng Gui is showing you up something awful at the moment. Don't really want to waste tactics on him. He's so close to being defeated that I just kind of want to wait. And let's use Fire Arrow, that'll confuse everybody in the castle. Means they can't pour out, but we can pour in. 
Why are you doing so loud damage, Gang Nine? What is wrong with you? Right, Xiao Yun is close, closing in in the castle. Damn it. Oh well, we've made enough of an opening in the castle that it's not a big deal. Fa Zheng just doesn't want to die, does he? He's just... nope. The giant line move up a bit. We just need to get into the castle. I mean, I'm trying to get in there, so you've just done me a favour. Right, most of the front castle walls are down. We just need to move on in. Right, here we go, what's gonna what's gonna go on here? We've not actually fought Sal Sal in quite a while, haven't we now? I could pit him down, who is this Gojia? Why not? I don't think Zhigo Yang is gonna actually No actually no, I don't think he's gonna actually He could build a depot yeah, build a depot here. That's helpful. Um Once Gongji, right, okay, now you can read through. Pathetic fools! I'll take on all of you! They have, the annoying thing is, is they have packed a whole ton of officers into the castle, so it is a little bit more difficult to get, actually get a hold of Sao Sao. I shall rule supreme! My lord, the enemy is in that direction! I need more walls down. I've not got enough spaces to put my army guys in. But you can't really get anywhere, can you? Right, you come over here. You come out and gang and go in. Perfect, right. You destroy here first so that Zhao Yun can get in. And then we can destroy that one. And then we've got enough holes in the wall to get our army properly into. Just do a lot of fighting inside the castle grounds. He really, really, really is reviving like hell at the moment. I shall rule supreme! Just need in here. Mm, don't quite want to do that, no. Gojia on the outside is annoying me, so I might... Let's link that in. Right, this works.
Let's see if this goes as I have it in my head. Not quite. Gongji was supposed to switch, but I think because he moved forward unexpectedly, which triggered that. Just got to work on clearing out the enemy forces inside the castle at the moment. All you who seek death, I will be the last thing you see. Right, Zhang Liao is down. He's done for. That's one less enemy unit. Save your tactic conf tactics for when we can do a combo. Only use tactics if you can do a combo. That's the rule. Well, for now, anyway. Right, you can finally destroy this. That means you can get in. And you can switch. Which means you can then repel. And that takes care of you. All you who seek death, I shall be the last thing you see. Goodbye, Cheng Yu. Sal Sal is pretty much standing alone right now, so if we can get Liu Bei in there and get an all attack in, he's done for. Block all enemy tactics, perfect time. Oh, Sal Sal, you're so screwed, man. Oh, I should have linked that, damn. I shall assist. Probably it's left. Alright, Goji is down. We pretty much decimated all of Sal Sal's force here at Chengdu. Let's do it. This all attack should be great. Except Jag Fei won't be doing his pursuit now. Oh well, that's fine. Still done good enough. And Liu Bei gets to finish Sao Sao off. Well, actually, Zhao Yun does. And there we go. Done. Season 2 is done. Oh my god. 44 videos, each an hour long. Each an hour long. That's 44 hours for this Let's Play alone. That's long play. I think my Rain of Fire Let's Play is going to be like, what, like maybe <laughs> an hour, two hours video length, this is 44, crazy. Anyway, we get Chengdu and let's see the ending, the final one. Liu Bei seized Chengdu and obliterated Cao Cao's forces in Yi. 
Escaping with his life, Cao Cao flees to the northeast in an attempt to regroup. Liu Bei personally leads a force in pursuit. to revive a doomed country. You are causing the people to suffer. It's you! Silence. Why should I listen to one who would betray his own emperor? Huh. So you will not listen. But remember this. Even if you have defeated me, this land will not be unified. Farewell. Cao Cao. Liu Bei had finally defeated Cao Cao. However, as he had prophesied, Cao Cao's death did not bring an end to the chaos. To regain lost glory, Cao Cao's eldest son and successor, Cao Pi, declares himself emperor. Not recognizing Cao Pi's ascension, Liu Bei also declares himself emperor and calls his kingdom Shu. Thus begins the longest period of division in the history of China. And we done it, ladies and gents. Dynasty Tactics Season 2 complete. 44 hours in. My god. 44 freaking hours. It's probably longer than that actually because not every episode was like an hour on the dot. So it's probably only like 45, 46. But there we go. It's every branch of Liu Bei's story done. And that was a really dark and bleak ending for that one. Um, Sao Sao kills himself in front of Liu Bei. Quite dark. Quite, quite dark. So the best ending we actually got for Liu Bei was the unification ending. Well, actually that's arguable. The best ending for Liu Bei is probably the Two Kingdoms, where he's at peace with Sun Quan. Um, so let's just have a look at the stuff we've done. All from the garden, Liu Bei, all this Liu Bei. Remember all this Liu Bei stuff we did? And then all this, and all this, and then we did this. Then we, this was a bastard on all, all this stuff here. You being sure where we basically just kind yeah. the war for the seal. So yeah. Five endings for Liu Bei's campaign. Rescue Guan Yu, Three Kingdoms. Two Kingdoms. These two right here, they're basically the same, except Guan Yu is either alive or dead. Um, literally. So that so that's a bit disappointing. They're either he's just either alive or dead. This one, Liu Bei is allied with Sun Quan. And they defeat Cao Cao and then they split the land in two. This one, uh, Liu Bei just basically defeats everyone and takes everything. Which is arguably the best outcome for Liu Bei, but this is the best one overall. And this one, Two Dynasties, is quite bleak in general, but so is these two down here. These two are quite bleak. These two right here are the two best ones. These two, these three are quite, uh, I think down here are Three Kingdoms as the historical, as the historical ending. So that's that. When we come back, it's, it's going to be a while because my plan is I want to do... I want to take a break from lot a long play um, for a little bit um, after this. So when we come back, we'll be doing Sal Sal stuff. We'll be unlocking all of this, and it looks a lot easier ish. It looks a lot less complicated than Liu Bei's did, and so does Sun Se's actually. Sun Se's actually looks a lot less complicated. Liu Bei's seems to be it seems to be the the most complicated tree when you look at all oh, of freaking this. It's definitely the 
the most complicated and the one with the most options and paths and all the rest of it. So we've done the hard part of Dynasty Tactics as a whole. But that's it. Let's check out my, my top combos because I bet, yeah, I've managed to replace my top combos quite a bit from when we started. When you know you've done a good combo when you hit 99999, that's the top you can get. I actually hit 99999 quite a bit, actually. So yeah, we are going to end this here. And I'm I'm very happy to end it because I'm tired of doing stats for now. I'm looking forward to a break from it. We're going to go back to some Dynasty Wars 3 for a little bit, but... I don't think we'll see some dice tags for a little while. I'm gonna give myself a decent break. And when we come back, we do Sal Sal stuff. We do all Sal Sal stuff. But that's next time. So I hope you see you then. Take care.